What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm 7 Beats and today I'm going to show you how to create a really awesome dancehall piano beat. So make sure to check out my most recent African loop jams kit. It contains a lot of awesome samples so make sure to check it out and download the free preview which is containing free samples. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm going to turn it to speed a little bit so I'm going to choose 110 BPM. I'm going to start off with a piano melody so first I'm going to use the piano V2 from Aturia. So I'm going to use this American Jazz Studio preset, but you can also use another plugin. So I'm gonna open up the piano roll right here. So in this story, I'm just gonna create a really simple chord progression. So I'm gonna create a melody in C sharp minor. So I'll just start off with this C sharp right here, then in the E. And a G. B is equal to E, so this is the most logic choice when choosing the notes right here. So I'm going to switch up the melody right here and just duplicate this one. And this adds some more body to the melody. Because we use an E right here, I'm just gonna try an E right here. It's in the scale. So I'm going to add this F sharp right here. This D or D sharp right here. Just add this right here, this one right here. And I'm going to create something like this. And right here, just create something really simple by just adding some notes like this. So it's so it's just going up. Yeah, I think that sounds really awesome. So just duplicate this one. So that's basically it. And right now we're going to link this one to the mixer. So just randomly selecting one. So for a piano, I'm going to use this sidechain plugin. So just add a little bit. And right now I'm going to add some reverb. So I'm using the Viola Vintage Verb. Just using the play mode right here. Cutting out the low frequencies. I think like this, it sounds really awesome. It really has some ambience. And I'm also going to cut out all the low frequencies by just using this stock equalizer from the mixer. And right now I'm going to add another melody on top of this one. So I think I'm going to use Omnispare. So I found this synth right here. And I'm gonna create a melody using this one. So at the beginning, just start off with this G sharp right here. D sharp. Maybe just turn up the melody to octaves. Maybe just just duplicate this one. Just make this note a little bit shorter. And just where the next chord progression is coming in right here. So. Maybe just repeat these notes right here from the chord from piano. I think that sounds really dope. So I'll duplicate this one and I'm going to link this one to the mixer and add some effects right here. So first I've added this EQ and cut out all the high and low frequencies. So like this, it sounds way too harsh but this creates just some space into the, to the melody. Then I've added this compressor 
for OPTT. It's a free compressor and I highly recommend it to you guys. I will leave a link in the description. And then I've added some reverb. Just this Valhalla Vintage Verb. And next up, just add some low frequency. So for this one, I'm gonna use my favorite instrument, which is Serum. And this, and this is one of my favorite bass sounds, but it's also the most simple one. So you can use this preset right here. So we're gonna keep it really simple. So just copy the root notes right here. I think turn them up one octave like this. Or maybe. So I'm gonna add some more low frequencies by adding this sub right here. Turning it down. And right now I'm gonna add some drums. So I'm going to use my sample pack. So I'm using my African sample pack volume one. So I found this kick right here. So as you can see, the pack contains a lot of heads right here. So I think I'm going to use those ones. So this close head right here, this crash, another head. And I'm just dragging in some sounds. So it doesn't really matter. Then I found those rim shots right here, this one. And this one, so I'm gonna create a really simple pattern right here. So I think I'm gonna turn this one down. I'll just duplicate it to the, to the other rim. And then I'm gonna add a kick pattern. Maybe we just turn this one down. I think this sounds way much better. still just really simple maybe just display around with the velocity right here and right now we're going to add some rhythm so we're going to use the pre-selected heads so I came up with this pattern I think this goes perfect together. Then just a crash right here, right here. So I'm adding this pattern right here. And after playing around a while, I've added some more closed head rolls right here. Just in the background. link all the elements to the mixer so just select them like this channel routing second one just some quick mixing and right now I'm just gonna create a really simple arrangement so I've added some effects right here this one and this effect right here And this is just, just how you can start creating the arrangement. So just first the melody. And right now just cut out the melody to keep it interesting and just create like a build. -up.
so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this one leave it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and see you guys in one of my next tutorials